participants and guests. I am head of uh, Student Scientific Society of the International Sakharov Environmental Institute of Belarusian State University. My name is Olga Kanapelka. Welcome to the uh, seventh International Scientific Conference of Young Scientists, Graduates, PhD, uh, PhD students, and Master Actual Environmental Problems. In Republic of Belarus, uh, 2017 year, uh, named the Year of Science. Actual Environmental Problems Conference. <coughs> this is brilliant example of releasing uh, this concept uh, of uh, our conference. One of the main aims of the conference is organized to attract students, undergraduates, graduate students, um, and young scientists in an active exchange of views on the most actual environmental problems. Today, uh, 229 people from Republic of Belarus, Russian Federation, and Serbia take a part in our conference. This number of participants show that young people are interested and seek for participation in the, in the development of science. I want to ask welcome speech, director of the International Sakharov Environmental Institute of Belarusian State University, uh, professor, doctor of physical and mathematical sciences, Mr. Uh, Maskevich Sergei Alexandrovich. Добрый день, шановные коллеги, выкладчики. А не первое за все я хотел бы вернуться до наших студентов. И мне особливо приемно, что сегодня у гостях у нас студенты, молодые науковцы с Российской Федерации, с Сербии. Вельми приемно, что наша конференция, а это семая конференция, молодых науковцев, набывая такие значный э, и пленный и поважанный, а, поважанный относины у э, студентов не только Сахаровского института, а и инших высших научных установ нашей страны и за межой. Мне хотелось бы только отзначить, что Проблемы экологии с каждым годом все больше гучными являются. И, безумовно, международные, сусветные, я бы так назвал, глобальные экологичные проблемы являются предметом доследования и предметом дискуссии у колах в ученых, в ученых из разных краин. И очень важно, что наша молодость так само э, профессионально рихтуется, как быть в этой теме сведомой. И очень важно, что разом с глобальными экологичными проблемами мы выучаем и стараемся поглубить свои веды у экологии человека, у тем микросеродзи, у яким находится каждый из нас. У связи с этим я хотел бы сказать, что сегодня в программе конференции вельми приемно, что есть доклады, которые связаны и с здоровьем человека, с экологией человека, а так само огульные экологичные проблемы, которые важны сегодня для всех краин. Дозвольте мне пожадать вам плену, шановные коллеги науковцы, успехов у сегодняшних докладах, успехов у вашей науковой працы у Вогуле и, безумовно, Мотного здоровья, 
Good luck. Dear ladies and gentlemen, uh, participants of the Severance International Scientific Conference of Young Science, uh, graduates, master and PhD students, uh, actual environmental problems. I'm glad to greet you on behalf of the Council of Young Scientists of the Belarusian State University. The activity of our structure is based on uh, improvement uh, of status of, of young, young scientists uh, of the Belarusian State University scientific community and motivation of students, uh, postgraduates in carrying out of scientific uh, activity. We are always ready to cooperate with councils of young scientists of all division of uh, Belarusian State University, other universities and institutes, and simply with uh, young scientists. It's great that your conference uh, became a tradition, and it confirms uh, the interest of young scientists uh, who are each of you to carry out uh, scientific research in envi environmental sphere. Organization of Young Scientists Conference is a significant event in the year of science and on the eve of the second Congress of Scientists of the Republic of Belarus. The contest on the conference program demonstrates the scale of the conference. Uh, and on the one hand, conference has an international character and uh, everybody can change experience uh, and uh, establish uh, useful contacts with foreign colleagues. And on the other hand, the program of conference includes such topical issues in environmental sphere as ethical, social, pedagogical problems in uh, accordance with Sakharov's idea, ecologic, uh, medical ecology, uh, climate change, and uh, etc. And the desire to overcome uh, all of these problems and uh, to find solution, constructive solution of these problems is uh, very commendable. I believe that young sci scientists create uh, innovation and uh, they always can offer original solution of any uh, problem. So on behalf of the Council of Young Scientists of the Belarusian State University, I wish you inspiration, seminal work uh, within your section, and uh, of course the interesting discussion in the frames of your debate, because we know that the truth uh, is born in debate. So good luck to everybody. Operating Officer, Security and Audit Belarus, and Gabor Alexandrovich Rashutkin, which represents Coca-Cola Enterprise. Thank you very much. Dear colleagues, uh, I think, um, I'm sure that is a mistake. Uh, uh, I'm sure and I'm proud that I uh, use, uh, uh, that I can use uh, uh, the word uh, colleagues in this audience. Coca-Cola Beverages Belarus pays uh, uh, great uh, attention to environmental uh, aspects uh, in the, its activity. Um, 
I am sure that um, you uh, know you well uh, you are well aware our uh, ecological projects such as uh, let's say Fielnia together, tour of middle, uh, let's do it, um, clean up uh, forest week and many others. Um, uh, students of the Sakharov Institute take part in this uh, project uh, together with uh, employees of our enterprisers. Um, uh, I do not want to stay to other aspects of our uh, cooperation. Uh, I want to uh, wish uh, success to the participant of this uh, uh, conference. Um, I am sure that uh, joint efforts of uh, uh, scientists, business, uh, the state, uh, local authorities, and uh, community will provide uh, significant uh, impact uh, to uh, environmental problem resolution. Thank you very much. Good luck, as say Sergei Alexandrovich. Thank you. Let me introduce chairman of plenary session, associate professor and PhD, Mitskevich Evgeny Stepanko. Dear student, colleagues, uh, postgraduate, uh, masters, um, I want to uh, let me continue our conference and um, now we are starting plenary session. Uh, our plenary session consists of three um, mm, presentation of our uh, plenary, uh, plenary speakers. Allow me uh, in, in introduce them. The first report of the, uh, on the theme, first uh, new challenges for people health in the 20 one century and change uh, of medical strategy by Professor Mikhail Potapnev. Second one at the theme, uh, formation of student aesthetic education by means of project activity by lecturer of uh, Paulina Vaida. And final report uh, on the subject modern environmental problem, their causes and management uh, by associate professor uh, Vladimir Kapitia. Uh, during this presentation, you will uh, you will able uh, to uh, ask any question and also also participate in the discussion uh, don't hesitate ask your question uh, don't shy okay in the first um, i would like to invite professor mikhail uh, potapnev please welcome The organizer, the students, uh, let me open uh, scientific uh, block of uh, our conference. And uh, this is introductory, uh, one of lecture, short lectures. So. And uh, I start with uh, new challenges for people's health in 21st century. Uh, actually, what have changed for the last uh, 100 years? Uh, you see here the data, what is the leading causes of this is in the United States uh, is um, have more uh, uh, good statistics. Uh, in uh, 1900, the uh, first three, uh, three diagnoses uh, as a cause of this was pneumonia, tuberculosis, and enteritis. And uh, other was, uh, uh, you see, uh, oh the whole list. Uh, practically uh, 100 uh, years 
later, uh, the uh, list of diseases have changed, uh, drastically changed. You see the first three topic, uh, 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 first three uh, diagnoses is heart diseases, cancer, and stroke. So uh, you see that, uh, and uh, infection uh, became uh, uh, became uh, a little mm, uh, 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 became lower. Uh, what is the reasons uh, for this change in uh, public health? Uh, mm, first of all, that lifespans uh, became uh, longer for more than 30 uh, years. And as, as was calculated, 25 of these years was gain attributed to advance in public health. Uh, first of all, control on infectious, infectious diseases. So this is uh, now it's not a uh, big problem, uh, except of uh, some countries. Uh, uh, vaccination is very uh, essential. Uh, of course, um, uh, a motor vehicle, uh, vehicle uh, safety and uh, safer workplaces is uh, uh, related to the industrial uh, uh, control. Uh, and also, uh, we see decline of this from coronary uh, head disease stroke. Uh, so, uh, safer uh, food, safer food. Uh, of course, a problem of mother and babies, especially in our countries. Uh, family planning, uh, fluoride, uh, fluoridation of drink, uh, drinking water, and uh, recognition of the beca as health hazard. So uh, you see th a lot of uh, uh, um, events uh, was, uh, invo uh, was involved uh, to uh, ch change the people health problem. Uh, so uh, now uh, that is the reasons what I calculate say short uh, uh, conclusions that 20th century was the time of antibi uh, antibiotics and microbial medicines to treat infection disease. Now it's a time for battle with non-infection, chronic disease, cancer, cardiovascular and lung disease, di diabetes, uh, orthopedic pathology, etc. And now, according to calculation of the World Health Organization, uh, among the pe people uh, who are 60 years and older, half suffer from disabilities. It's maybe uh, uh, mental or, or physical, such as osteoarthritis. And uh, that is why uh, what is changing now is changing now in medicine, that regenerative medicine uh, give new opportunity to, uh, for treatment most of these diseases when the possibilities become limited. And cellular therapy widely used uh, uses mesenchymal stem cells. This is topic of my research. Uh, I talk about it more precisely, which is considered as medicinal uh, signaling cells. Um, uh, this is a uh, uh, prognosis for um, what uh, what biotechnological products will change in the nearest uh, seven to eight years. You see here that cellular therapy or cell therapy is uh, analogous, uh, will increase more substantially uh, compared to gene therapy and uh, biologics uh, analogous. Um, uh, when I uh, check for uh, clinical trials, which is uh, uh, presented in the uh, 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 site clinical trials gov you see that uh, current uh, sorry uh, 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 now cellular therapy cellular based therapy uh, uh, conducted 20 percent of all therapeutic uh, trials so it means uh, um, not pharmaceutical uh, products uh, but uh, cellular therapy became a new uh, uh, new events in uh, our medicine. And uh, cellular therapy based now uh, uh, on the, uh, divided on the immunotherapy, first of all, so, uh, first of all for uh, treatment of cancer cells, uh, of cancer, and now uh, new one is uh, stem cell therapy. Uh, stem cell therapy uh, is divided for hematopoietic stem cells or mesenchymal stem cells. And uh, this is a um, a therapy applicated for degenerative chronic diseases. Uh, you see here that uh, compared to gene therapy, monoclonal antibody therapy, uh, number of uh, studies, of clinical studies, uh, much more uh, 
uh, is, is a similar proximately, but uh, um, actually uh, monoclonal antibodies are ahead of uh, amount uh, of, of uh, sold products, uh, but um, for research now, stem cell therapy became the first. Uh, when we compare uh, human stem cells for cellular therapy, actually uh, two main branches is a dull type, oh sorry, it's a dull type, uh, here is presented as a uh, placenta derived stem cells and embryonic and uh, induced pluripotent stem cells which are um, actually uh, f uh, embryonic style uh, or uh, genetic, uh, genetic modifying. Uh, you see that uh, a lot of uh, uh, ethic and legal restrictions exist for embryonic and uh, uh, in, and used cell in uh, therapy, uh, whereas uh, adult uh, stem therapy are uh, used uh, worldwide, uh, including uh, uh, Belarus. Uh, uh, for uh, short uh, brief about uh, how cellular therapy uh, uh, was. Um Stand in Belarus. Uh, bone marrow transplantation uh, uh, was started in uh, 1996, and occasionally, uh, uh, occasionally, autologous activated NK cells were prepared, uh, as include as actually immunotherapy for patients with cancer, uh, only occasionally. Uh, first of all, um, uh, was um, uh, made by uh, Minister of Public Health. Uh, in Belarus, uh, in uh, uh, 26, uh, when Ministry uh, of Health announced first competition for research project for development of methods for cellular therapy for most important human therapy uh, diseases. Uh, um, up to uh, 2010, uh, we uh, elaborated all the uh, un um, uh, una uh, actually. Uh similar methodology for mole producer of the, uh, that is uh, uh, of, of mesenchymal stem cells that are, uh, in six laboratories in Minsk. And actually, uh, surely it's problem uh, not only for us, uh, but also for United States and in other countries is um, uh, certification of this laboratory uh, to, uh, to make a biological uh, medical products for therapy. It's uh, some have a lot of limitations. And actually three of uh, laboratories was uh, accredited, have this uh, accreditation. Sorry? Very careful. Okay. Uh, I'll continue. Uh, now, this, uh, among these uh, laboratories um, are uh, uh, laboratories of uh, cellular therapy from uh, nine uh, city, uh, uh, nine uh, city hospital. Can you uh, hear? Thank you. Uh, uh, and said okay. At l uh, later, uh, and said state actually was uh, uh, made in uh, 2014 when. Uh, law of uh, Republic of Belarus on public health was added with article uh, that, uh, that uh, um, uh, uh, regulated implementation of cellular products oh sorry, uh, for medical use in Belarus. Uh, with, uh, we uh, done, uh, have done it uh, three years earlier compared to Russia. Uh, in Russia only this year it was introduction. We do it uh, on government uh, according to government regulations three years earlier. Uh, according to this uh, uh, article, uh, biomedical, uh, uh, biomedical cellular pro products was indicated as material for transplantation based on a human cell except of embryonic, fetal, hematopoietic and gene modified human cells. So of course there are some limitation uh, both ethical and methodological exist. And we uh, uh, script, uh, we tightly uh, look about, uh, know about them. <coughs> uh, what cell uh, type is used uh, for cellular therapy in Belarus? It, it was uh, main, mainly it's mesenchymal stem cells from adipose uh, tissue on bone marrow. 
Uh, now we also do, uh, prepare uh, tissue specific uh, tissue specific uh, stem cell derived progenitor cells. Then the it's also uh, the dendritic cells and cytokine inducing killer cells to treat uh, uh, kill uh, to kill cancer. Uh, of course, hematopoietic stem cells, uh, umbilical cord uh, um, uh, blood cells, uh, parathyroidocytes, and pancreatic B cells. Of course, you see a lo uh, broad spectrum of cells are used for uh, cellular therapy. And um, uh, uh, is mainly of them prepared in uh, accredited, accredited uh, uh, laboratories, in Institute of Biophysics and Cellular Engineering of National Academy of Science of Belarus, in ninth city of uh, clinical hospital, Belarusian Research Center for Pediatric Oncology, Hematology, and Monology, uh, um, uh, Republican Center for Transfusiology and Medical Biotechnology in progress, and also this laboratory uh, exists but uh, not accredited in uh, Center of Epidemiology and Microbiology and uh, Belarusian Medical Academy of Postgraduate Education. Uh, uh, several laboratory uh, uh, prepare the cellular products for clinicals. Which clinicals? It's uh, uh, actually specialized uh, clinicals, uh, some uh, uh, such as uh, Nine City Clinic Hospital, uh, Belarusian Center of Pediatric Oncology, Immunology, Neurology, Traumatology, Mental Health, Pulmonology, Mother and Child, etc. Uh, what current list of uh, diseases and pathology uh, uh, are treated now using cellular uh, therapy in Belarus. In Belarus, uh, this is of course uh, situation related to uh, bone marrow transplantation. Uh, of course, it's a neurodegenerative uh, block of uh, uh, diagnosis. Uh, lung therapy, hepatitis, tuberculosis, osteosynthesis, uh, wound healing, uh, and uh, acute leukemia. Uh, um, what is the main conclusion from first 10 years experience? Uh, first of all, it's m uh, sorry, first of all is uh, most autologous, uh, autologous cells were used for cellular therapy. Nevertheless, uh, um, uh, allergenic, uh, uh, especially uh, HAPLA, uh, HAPLA identical uh, cellular therapy also used. Uh, till now, uh, uh, 24 methods of cellular therapy, 24 methods of therapy was approved for clinicians for any clinical use by Ministry of, uh, of Health and Republic, uh, of Republic of Belarus. It's, uh, it means that uh, 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 can be used in uh, accordance with um, uh, agreement with uh, uh, Ministry of Health. Uh, up to now, uh, uh, twe more than 20, uh, uh, 200 patients were treated. Uh, it was shown that cellular therapy was safe, was safe. It's very um, important, uh, no, practically no complications. Uh, uh, it's very essential that cellular therapy was effective when dra in, in drug resistance cases. Uh, actually, we uh, treated patients that uh, have resistance to uh, other kind of therapy. Uh, and uh, among them, uh, more than 50% of treated patients responded to cellular therapy is partially or completely. And uh, it's one very, very essential event that price of cellular therapy is expensive. Uh, it's uh, s uh, actually uh, up from uh, one, uh, one to five s thousand Belarusian rubles per uh, one cycle of therapy was covered by Belarusian government. <laughs> and, sorry. And uh, what's the, uh, what will be in nearest future, nearest future? Uh, of course, we are looking for uh, diabetes uh, mellitus, uh, Alzheimer and Parkinson, miscarriage. It's uh, new. Uh, uh, it's uh, very essential and uh, for uh, our demography politic. Uh, peripheral artery diseases, uh, uh, of, of course, problem of transplantation and cancer. Actually, uh, you see that uh, we have some uh, positive results. We are looking forward for uh, spreading our possibility for uh, to treat new new uh, new profile of diseases thank you thank you very much for your interesting uh, report have you finished your time uh, i'll wait until that time one minute please okay
Okay. If you have uh, if you have question, you can ask me uh, uh, out of the broad of conference. Good morning, nice to meet you. Uh, so I'm a lecturer of the Chair of Linguistic Discipline and uh, Intercultural Communication. And also I'm uh, getting master's degree in Educational Management at Belarusian Pedagogical State University. And now I'm working on the topic um, project activity uh, generally and my speech today will be c closely connected with my research work. So it's formation of aesthetic education by means of project activity. I think that this topic is rather topical thing for us today because you will speak about physical um, um, physical health and I will speak today about mental health. So um, and to start and uh, to start my speech, I want uh, from the words from the quotation of uh, Lev Nikolaevich Tolstoy. Mm -hmm. Uh, both uh, upbringing and education are inseparable and it's impossible to educate not transferring knowledge. All knowledge acts educationally and I absolutely agree with this quotation because we can't uh, just give some knowledge and education without upbringing our children and especially students at uh, educational establishments. Um, so, in modern conditions, the training of the future specialist is carried out taking uh, into account the requirements of the labor market. And um, in it becomes important to focus on the future relevance of the graduate in society. Uh, his mobility, his ability to adapt uh, to changing conditions, to self-development of professional com competencies and including in the field of aesthetic. The development of aesthetic competence of students is one of the most important goals of studying at university, which allows the student to be creative in the chosen field of activity, to see the prospects of his future activity, to enjoy work, communication and study. Uh, in spiritual crisis in modern uh, society has become the main cause of the problems arising in all spheres of human existence. Uh, including in education. The problem of aesthetic education of the individual has always been one of the topical problems and in modern conditions it acquires special significance. So aesthetic education of students occupies a significant place in the process of educational work of the university. So what is aesthetic education? Aesthetic education is purposeful process in forming a creative personality capable of perceiving, feeling, evaluating the beautiful and created artistic values. Um, also, uh, we should mention that um, painting, music, literature, architecture, powerful means of aesthetic education. They say education and education is feral process. Uh, so, but if you look uh, at it objectively, uh, both uh, in education and uh, um, upbringing, profound changes have taken place. If during the Soviet period, uh, everything was clear, the ideas of good and evil were clearly defined and this was also well connected with education. But what about now? Uh, education has moved to commercial lines and education began to think on the um, residual principle, all inclusively for ethic. Uh, and thoughtless, but uh, it's uh, not for nothing that they say what you will sow, you will reap. So we'll get that we will reap. Uh, we reap the fruits of uh, sometimes rudeness, unfortunately, and maybe cynicism. Aesthetic bringing of education and education not only open uh, of the soul of man, but uh, also the sound colors, forms of the world, but also a whole contribute to a more complete and more uh, kahat and uh, deeper understanding of the world and more harmonious all around self-disclosure. So let's first of all uh, speak uh, with mention, we can't mention about the peculiarities, the age of 18 and 20 years at the age of our students. So what, what are the peculiarities? The first uh, and very important peculiarity is that um, students of this age 
uh, is the period of, of the most active de development of the moral and aesthetic feelings. So the formation of st and stabilization of the character and also the culture of the full range of social roles and adult, civil, vocational and other. So also we can um, notice the following things that uh, the students of the first year, the first year students, I'm sorry, uh, they are lightly, they are lightly uh, introduced in some uh, maybe project activity, in some uh, active uh, way of um, in university life and so on. Uh, so for many students, leisure activities perform a reaction function, for example, doing nothing, which is promoted by the values of Western culture uh, and disseminated with the help of media. Uh, at the same time, the cognitive creative uh, functions of leisure are clearly not realized. There are significant uh, differences mm, from the course of the course. Uh, it is noted that, um, also that the senior courses of the university, the issues, um, they have the main goal to find the job and maybe to uh, get some money, the first money in their uh, age. And during the period, students' youth is more passive about the kind uh, of undertaking and attempts to involve them in the public life. Um, so let's consider formation of aesthetic education by means of project activity on the example of studying a foreign language. Uh, so, to improve the effectiveness of teaching foreign languages in the methodology, various pedagogical and social technologies are used. For example, such technologies as uh, technology of French workshops, integrative learning, the technology of six hats of thinking, and technology of project activity. So, uh, now I research uh, the technology of project activity more, deep, more deeply than other, uh, but I can say that um, I can give some examples that on the, for example, 31st of November in 2017, we had approbation of technology of six hats. Uh, the author of this technology is uh, Grita Natalia Anatolievna. She gave us opportunity with the group uh, A71 and to, uh, to, um, ha to have this um, technology in work. Um, the main goal of students was to read their um, to read the uh, story by Sommerist Moim uh, Salvatore and to analyze it thanks to this technology. So uh, what does it mean? Uh, we had different uh, spheres of uh, analyzation. Uh, some uh, students spoke about um, just facts, strict facts. Uh, others spoke about feelings, positive, uh, negative. They tried to find out the main idea uh, and uh, maybe the message of author. So I think that all students uh, were active and interested in this uh, kind of work. The next, uh, we had also a preparation of technology of project activity. Uh, so the project introduced my group mate with um, group uh, A71, MEF1. Uh, so uh, we had very interesting, ta they had very interesting task. Uh, during one month, uh, they had to, um, make watching uh, on their group mates and after this they uh, had to write down creative essay um, about their group mates they, but they had to write down only positive positive things about themselves uh, after this we played we had uh, a little tea party and had um, the game in mafia i think that this game uh, helped them to know each other better so uh, this project was realized uh, very successfully. So uh, also speaking about the connection of uh, project activity and uh, aesthetic education, I want uh, to say um, the words, I want to mention the words of Confucius, show me and I will see, tell me and I will remember, make me do and I will understand. Uh, currently, the project method is being actively applied in universities. The project method, along with the project activity, is a component of project training. The project activity is used uh, in as one of the forms of educational cooperation in university, including the pur purpose of development of aesthetic competence of students. Uh, so we understand that project, acti project activity is human activity aimed at a step-by-step -step solution of the problem and practical uh, implementation of the project taken uh, into account of the purpose of development of the aesthetic competence of the students. 
Uh, the essence of project training is that a group of students under a guidance of a teacher independently develops a large project, which as a rule is divided into smaller tasks. I think that it's a great opportunity for students to uh, shadow off, uh, sh to show off their creative skills and uh, show off their mind, their soul during such projects. And also I can't even mention um, the uh, approbation of project technology give children fairy tales. So during these two months, the first year students tried themselves as an actors. I, I can say that it's somehow the combination of technology, um, of project technology and uh, the technology theatre. Uh, so they were interested in charity and doing good things for children during one month. They helped to collect all necessary things for children from children's community and got ready for the performance. The result of the project activity was to visit the orphanage or children's community number two with the performance in English, Snow White. I think that it helped uh, them not only to, you can see the photos from our performance, uh, I think that it helped them not only to express themselves but also to uh, develop their mm, maybe a civil um, good, uh, they are good uh, manners and best sides. So uh, I believe, and in conclusion, I should say that I believe that aesthetic education will be more effective if students are given the opportunity to discover the laws of beauty and harmony themselves and apply them in the process of their own creativity, creative activity. Thus, more quality uh, a question and assimilation of knowledge is conducted as well the development of the outlook of students and education feelings. So thank you for your attention. Okay, I think that it's very important because aesthetic education can help us uh, not only just to show off uh, their maybe minds, but also to find out themselves, to find out very good uh, manners and sides of them. And I think that it can help uh, them even in some relationships. And speaking about relationship, for example, between teacher and students, it can help us uh, to be like maybe colleagues a little bit and I think that it's brilliant. Uh, I like this uh, technology very much because uh, it helps me to know my students better and to find out something interesting for me. I think that I study every day from there. Thank, thank you very you much. much. Colleagues, the participants of the conference, the, uh, the guests of the conference. We today we talk about uh, human health, about moral health, and let us to look about uh, sources of some problem and how we can uh, govern these problems, how, how we can control it. So let me introduce, let me present uh, my presentation, my topic, modern environmental problems and uh, problems, uh, their causes and management. <coughs> modern world uh, has a lot of uh, environmental problems and they originated like uh, original sources like and artificials also 
Uh, some of them, uh, first of all, if we talk about natural one, uh, they cause of uh, solar activity, uh, volcanic activities, uh, and of course, a large uh, part of our modern environmental problems, they cause as anthropoge anthropogenic uh, causes. Let's look what we can to how we can to analyze these problems. Solar activity is the source of our um, well-being, our life on our planet. It's a source of photosynthesis, so a source of our uh, organic matters. In other s uh, in another side, uh, solar activity uh, can impact and very large impact this for different uh, vital activities and can be um, the cause of uh, different environmental problems. Uh, for example, large problems like uh, sharp increase in quality of pests, uh, different kinds of diseases, climate change and so on. If we look for this slide uh, and uh, analyzing of average such, uh, sunspot number, this is uh, dynamic of solar ac activity through ages. We can see that uh, this uh, sharpest part Very often correlated with uh, more drastic uh, historical sub uh, situation, this more drastic environmental situation, and of course it uh, can, can uh, analyze about uh, can use for. Uh, analyzing, predicting, and modeling uh, of uh, different extraordinary uh, situation in our world. Uh, this scheme can show us uh, how solar activity impact of our climate. This is decreasing solar activities in uh, mid-age uh, correlated this uh, micro ice period in our planet and uh, for example in our territories uh, in territories uh, modern Belarus former great dukes of Lithuanian uh, our it's uh, correlated this uh, becoming uh, more cool climate and as especially in our uh, uh, territory of our neighbors, uh, Russia, uh, where climate was more continental. Uh, this is a period of uh, 15th, 16th centuries correlated with uh, more drastic uh, historical uh, situation. Um, a lot of diseases, uh, political crisis and so on. Situation uh, in uh, modern time, of course, uh, very often correlated this uh, solar activity. For example, uh, I come back a bit. Uh, the last situation, like uh, for example, in uh, 1998, uh, maybe you remember uh, the very sharp. Uh, Increasing quality of uh, leaf eating uh, pests. When in uh, Belarus or other in all regions, uh, especially in Slutsk regions, Oligorsk region, uh, we can observe a lot of uh, pests uh, which uh, eat our forests, uh, city. Uh, 
trees and uh, um, we lose uh, a lot of yields of uh, fruit production mm. so we necessary to uh, study this activity try to uh, make prognosis of submissions of situation and this map also possible uh, show us uh, um, uh, how this solar activity to impact of uh, modern modern world on uh, mid uh, mid uh, evil uh, world of uh, territories from 1000 till one thousand fifties, fifth hundreds years. For example, this Greenland, uh, this name appeared uh, this territory this really green, and this uh, was uh, colony of Danish. And uh, in uh, period of uh, one thousand four hundreds. Uh, climate uh, so sharply changed that uh, Greenland from green uh, became wise, uh, white island. Uh, volcanic activities also impact of to our climate and uh, well-being uh, because exhausting a lot of ash and different kinds of gases can impact, uh, impact uh, and uh, for our climate because it prevent uh, to uh, solar activity, solar lights uh, go to uh, surface. Uh, the Babylon name of Egyptian darkness. This is cause of this situation that. Uh, Explosion, uh, a great explosion of volcanic in Mediterranean Sea. Uh, for more than one uh, year, uh, reduce solar activity, uh, and it was uh, situation for several years, um, and uh, induce hunger, climate change, and so on. Uh, a lot of different gases. Uh, go to atmosphere uh, then uh, volcanic activities uh, and the last uh, most famous uh, eruption of volcanic uh, Krakatau in uh, Indonesia uh, had, had impact in uh, climate very large territories of our planet. Uh, two years after eruption, later uh, summer was uh, cold, and uh, was uh, people lose in Sp uh, and uh, even in Europe, uh, people lose a lot of uh, yields, and was uh, a huge problem. Huge problem this uh, food supplements in even in Europe, not only in Asia region. Uh, as a result, of course, it can impact of uh, climate nowadays. Uh, this uh, scheme of uh, climate change uh, through solar activity uh, and, uh, of course. Uh, human impacts also can uh, very drastic uh, impact on this climate. Uh, so they need to make uh, some investigation of this situation and uh, uh, try to control it to govern it. Uh, this scheme show how volcano can impact of uh, climate and uh, ecosystem production 
uh, that uh, reduction of uh, solar activity uh, in uh, our surface change climate it began to more cold uh, snow uh, winter will with more snow it uh, uh, have a very strong influence for uh, for example uh, hair uh, or rabbit uh, production of course uh, hunter can to, to have a much less links uh, in um, two years after uh, volcano erupt. So, for our ecologists, for uh, our specialists, the very important task is modeling of environmental problems. Uh, and uh, this is task especially for our uh, information system in ecology. Anthropogenic impact nowadays has a very uh, large means and uh, first of all uh, these impacts go through environmental pollution, land use change, uh, biodiversity destruction, uh, natural uh, cycle, biological cycles, Biospheric cycles, uh, especially as Mediterranean mid uh, moderate climate conditions, uh, have a, a depositional scheme where part of these uh, substances deposit like soil, deposit like peat, deposit like coil, uh, natural gas and is go out from cycle and they has some deposition they uh, can to use in, for in future. This is a uh, source of uh, environmental stability. Uh, in in uh, catastrophic situation, uh, environmental can um, restore uh, rather fast. Uh, Nowadays, human activity uh, very fast uh, change our world and modern uh, ecosystems have uh, such scheme. This is now this open scheme, this uh, material flow. The cycle is uh, disrupted. Uh, nowadays we use uh, for keeping our ecosystems uh, a lot of resources, the source of uh, which in our environment, a lot of energy. It is first of all uh, fuel, um, coefficient of usefulness of this ecosystem uh, not equal 100%. So as a result, we have a very uh, huge impact of environmental like uh, exhaust in atmosphere, uh, wastewater go to our natural basin. Now, and of course, we uh, produce a, lo a lot of waste. Uh, products after exploitation also go to waste and uh, nowadays we have a lot of environmental problems for uh, problems for these activities uh, as a result we have pollution atmosphere uh, uh, landscape change this type of uh, uh, soil degradation a lot of uh, waste A lot of uh, waste were produced and we uh, produced mountains, like near Minsk you can see it. Uh, water pollutions and a lot of problems like eutrophication, degradation of landscape uh, through melioration, through over exploitation, 
uh, also result this anthropogenic activities. Uh, we have a lot of sources of uh, pollutions nowadays for air pollution. Uh, this is agriculture, this is industry, transport, uh, energetic sectors. And of course, uh, natural sources have a large uh, impact for environmental pollution. But of course, nowadays, uh, anthropogenic sources uh, has a very uh, huge role and uh, impact very large. Uh, water pollutions also widespread sources in the environment. This is of course an industry, our um, communal sector, um, agriculture, transport, and in complex we have a very uh, problematic situation with environmental nowadays. Uh, we all uh, waste producer. Uh, our household, our industry produce a lot of waste and uh, the main task how to use them again but because the waste it's uh, materials uh, things which uh, lose uh, their valuability. Uh, why this pollution so dangerous? In common situation, uh, we use uh, materials, uh, substances which produces in environmental, uh, green plants produce organic matters, and these organic matters uh, go through food chain in different uh, consum consumments. Uh, of course, uh, accordingly, this law of Lindemann, we lose energy through this passing. Uh, as a result, uh, only uh, four, five, six, not more, uh, uh, chain, elements in chain can be in this uh, food chain. But if we have some pollutant in the environment, we have a uh, 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 accumula accumulation of pollutants in uh, food chain. For example, uh, on this picture, the last consum uh, consum consumers and last uh, recipient of all pollutants, we are, especially our children. Uh, bear accumulation effect also can impact for our well-being because in different tissues, in different organism, uh, different kind of uh, pollutants accumulate in this different uh, speed and with different uh, quality. Uh, and uh, accumulations, uh, some substances in uh, bodies of animals, uh, humans, can be drastically increased from uh, beginning to the end food change. And uh, different kind of organs also can be specific accumulators of uh, pollutants, of our environmental pollution. Uh, our bones is accumulators, uh, for example, uh, strontium. Uh, our uh, fat uh, is deposit for organic matters. Uh, as a result, we need to analyze uh, what uh, uh, target target of human body, target of di different kind of uh, vital organisms, uh, what target for this uh, toxicant. Of course, this is result of uh, a tax, uh, task, first of all, of medical eco ecology. Uh, 
and this result also the base of uh, our modern well-being. So we create our problems and then try to solve them. Uh, how to gather uh, these problems uh, with human activities which produce environmental, which destroy environment. This is environmental man management. Uh, nowadays is very mm, fast uh, developed branch of ecology. Uh, every state, every government of countries uh, have privilege right for environmental governments. Nowadays uh, we can to call uh, different type of uh, environmental management tools. This is administrative tools, this is economic tools, this is informational tools. Uh, let's look about this and make some conclusion what we can we do. Uh, administrative tools, um, this is, uh, includes uh, such kind of instruments like legislative, uh, environmental norming, uh, environmental certification, standardization. Uh, government give permissions or license for natural reasons for uh, pollutions of environment. Uh, for example, our legislations, environmental legislations very developed. And uh, nowadays we try to uh, write all uh, rules of game in our uh, uh, activity. And these uh, rules uh, try to describe about duties of uh, natural users, duties for enterprises, duties for uh, consumers of natural resources. Of course, it uh, gives some rights for using this resource. And of course, uh, first of all, we need to uh, decrease uh, human impact for environment. Uh, for this, we use a different kind of norming, environmental norming. And uh, nowadays, We have uh, environmental quality standard and uh, exposure standard. Uh, quality of environment, um, very often, especially of chemical uh, situation of environment, we use uh, through analyzing uh, and correlations, uh, common situation, this maximum permissible concentration. Uh, in uh, Euro structures, uh, it can use not available effect concentration and uh, uh, different uh, toxicolo toxicological uh, criteria. Uh, for physical factors, we use maximum permissible levels because we can't use, uh, can't uh, measure co concentrations by concentrations uh, radioactivity impact uh, and then, uh, noise impact and so on. Of course, uh, using this uh, type of environment quality, the quality standard, uh, government uh, try, don't allow to in, in to increase uh, these uh, concentrations through human activities. So uh, these uh, exposure, uh, exposure standards uh, was input to our practice and nowadays we uh, use a lot exhaust uh, for atmospheric activity a lot uh, waste water um, uh, pollutions for water bodies, uh, waste, uh, quality in enterprises, 
we uh, control with uh, waste uh, generation norms and if we uh, talk about territory territory impact uh, for example we need to control uh, how many person uh, can visit uh, national parks uh, without negative uh, effect uh, so it was included so inputted so kind of carrying capacity of territory this is standard we very uh, often used in our practice and as a result we try to go to them nowadays in uh, most uh, control it is uh, for environmental uh, legislation for regulation is this enterprise in uh, human history enterprises uh, interaction and impact uh, to environmental uh, had uh, several stage uh, passive uh, enterprises exhaust uh, pollute environmental without any control uh, and uh, natural carrying capacity allowed uh, to uh, solve these uh, pollutions without uh, serious problems but uh, in some period uh, industrial revolutions made uh, a very serious impact of uh, in enterprises for environmental and uh, a lot of industrial regions uh, uh, industrial cities have uh, very dramatic problems uh, these pollutions atmospheric water bodies lands uh, and uh, uh, a lot of human diseases uh, have place in that period so uh, next period uh, began then uh, pollutants uh, began to uh, spread in environmental through high tubes long tubes uh, for waste and so on nowadays uh, the most uh, popular is the n5 treatment where uh, all uh, pollutants need uh, cleaned before uh, enterprise will impact for environment of course we use a different kind of administrative for reducing this impact uh, you can see about uh, how uh, different in, uh, economic instruments used in our practice nowadays uh, this is instrument allowed to reduce <coughs> to uh, have interest for enterprises uh, for reduction uh, environmental impact uh, of course information ab uh, availability also to uh, also help to reduce environmental impact for in enterprises from uh, human activities uh, okay and uh, our information uh, spreading this is our test so uh, possessing all this instrument in the test of all modern ecology uh, and i wish to uh, wish you to demonstrate this uh, possessing uh, your knowledge in section thank you very much